Ready for next? Do we have a drum roll? We have a drum roll? Oh my God. Drum roll. Okay. Right? We got it? You can feel it? Let's go to the next set of scenes. We're just, a, but we're just gonna take a look at some scenes, okay? This gets a little wild here, okay? So now, let's take a look at five. Five D. We're not gonna comment on these scenes, we're just gonna look at them, okay? We got the time, let go of the time. Let's just be here. Let's just be here, here we go, right? Set is, this is, now this again, this is three or four scenes linked, and this is when, right, what happens here is, there's this realization that death's a real possibility, and Randall, as we're gonna see initially, tries to avoid it, Kate doesn't, and the end they come together. Right? And in this movie, there's about 10 major figures, and most of them undergo no transformation. Two of them undergo transformation, one of them is Randall. But these are, these are the, the death speeches, if you will, but take a look. Yeah, so this has to be really exciting. So tell us what you found this um, time. I was monitoring exploding well, hold, stars. Hold for a second. To... This is the first time when they're gonna now appear on television, and they're gonna share this with the world, right? and this is the announcer, who we're gonna meet later in the movie, right, I can't remember his name, who remembers his name? I knew his name a month ago, I don't remember his name now, but the, there's this, this couple, right, that are actually holding the show, who represent the win-lose metrics, and they're interviewing her, right, to actually share this, this great event, and this is her big chance to share it, right, and just, just watch how the conversation happens, and she doesn't know how to seduce him, she can't, she can't get him to pay attention, go. To help measure the expansion of the universe and for your phd right yeah i saw something i didn't recognize it was a comet <sighs> a big one it's headed directly at earth and it really likely will hit this sounds very very exciting exploding stars like stars actually explode so um how big is this thing could it like destroy someone's house is that possible well, Comet Bibiaski, which is what it will officially be named as somewhere. Her, yeah. 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 Congratulations. Yeah, right. Congratulations. Win, lose metrics. You get a comet it's named after you. Six and nine kilometers across. So it's big. It would damage the, the entire planet, not just a house. No. The entire planet. Okay, well, as it's damaging, will it hit this one house in particular that's right on the coast of New Jersey? It's my ex wife's house. I need it to be hit. Can oh, we make that happen? You and Shelly have a great relationship. No, you stop. Listen, in all fairness. You need to stop. I will, but in all fairness, gonna... I actually oh, paid the for the time. house. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Are we, are, are we not being clear? We're trying to tell you that the entire planet is about to be destroyed. Okay. okay. Um, well, it's, um, you know, just something we do around here. You know, we just keep the bad news light. Right, it helps the medicine go down. And speaking of medicine, tomorrow we've got a two Well, maybe the destruction of the entire planet isn't supposed to be fun. Maybe it's supposed to be terrifying and unsettling. Oh, please don't do that. And you should stay up please. all night, every night, crying when we're all 100% for sure gonna fucking die! <laughs> hey, so could you please help us out here, you know, a wise scientist? Well, first and foremost, Brie, um, there most certainly is a comet. All right. And we know that there is a comet because we have the data. <laughs> um, <clears throat> there has been growing concern within the scientific community as of late. You see, the peer review process is absolutely well, listen, essential if, if for all of us to get stock, the, the facts of yes. Well, if Bash's stock is any indicator, then we don't have to worry about the peer review. It is going gangbusters. And listen, full disclosure, I bought as many shares as I could, and I would advise oh, you to do this. You are such a shameless capitalist. Yes. Said the woman who will be in the brand new hot tub all on right. my back deck okay. when I put it in you from know the me stock, too well. for sure. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Uh, Dr. Ryan, are you sure you're okay? You want a glass of water? Or... I don't feel so good. All right. So I think what we'll do is we'll go to commercial break and no, we'll please, be right back. Please, Bree, don't, don't. This is, this is a later this scene. Is these are not, we've right strung these scenes show, together. We like to say things. Oh, would you please just stop being so fuck pleasant? I'm sorry, but not everything needs to sound so goddamn clever or charming or likable all the time. Sometimes we need to just be able to say things to one another. We need to hear things. 
Look, let's establish once again that there is a huge comet headed towards Earth. And the reason we know that there is a comet is because we saw it. We saw it with our own eyes using a telescope. I mean, for God's sakes, we took a fucking picture of it. What other proof do we need? And if we can't all agree at the bare minimum that a giant comet the size of Mount Everest hurling its way towards planet Earth is not a fucking good thing, then what the hell happened to us? I mean, my God, how do, how do we even talk to each other? What have we, we, we done to ourselves? How do we fix it? We should have deflected this comet when we had the fucking chance, but we didn't do it. I don't know why we didn't do it. And now that they're, 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 they're actually firing scientists like me for speaking out, for opposing them. And I'm sure many of the people, people out there aren't even going to listen, listen to what I just said because they, you know, they have their own political ideology. But I, I assure you, I am not on one side or the other. I, I'm just telling you the fucking truth. I, I think this would be a good time to establish that, that Ishuel and the president have oh, both said that both. there's benefits to be right, had. Well, the president the of the United uh, States is fucking lying. Look, I, I'm just like all of you. I hope to God, I hope to God that this president knows what she's doing. I hope she's got us all taken care of. But the truth is, I think this whole administration has completely lost their fucking mind. And I think we're all going to die. Look, I just want to go home. I just want to go home. I just want to go home more than anything. Well, so we just strung together four clips there. Rendell Mindy, after that first clip, when she walks off, Kate actually gets co-opted by Peter Isherwell, who's the head of Bash Industries, who kind of is the industrial plex. He has an affair with Bree, which is a whole scene we'll see. And towards the end of the movie, this is like two-thirds into the movie, it is the last piece of the last scene. And did you hear what he said? He said, we can't even talk to each other anymore. Did you hear that? What have we done? We can't have a conversation. We can't even establish a simple fact. Who caught her he eyes as she was watching Brie. him, Bree? Who caught her eyes? Who caught her eyes? Who saw her eyes? All right, just completely glazed over like... He's not... And she's got other information. She says, well, but the president says... But Bash says, this is the line. It's like unimaginable. And it's a wild scene. And it takes him the whole movie to find himself. Right, so let's just hold that. We're never going to talk about it. I'm looking at another set of clips now. Two of them, and we're going to talk about each of these very briefly. Now we're going to look at a series of set clips, but we're not going to talk about each one, about each one for just two, three minutes. So we're going to do this relatively quickly, but I'm going to ask everyone just to watch carefully because our little interludes, interludes are going to matter. Okay. Before we go on, what does he say at the end? What does he say at the end? Anyone? What does Randall Mindy say at the end of this clip? What does he say? After he gives this speech, what does he say? I just want to go home. I just want to go home. All right? And just want to go home, and we're going to see that scene a little later. So all of a sudden, this basic value emerges. Stay close. Stay in. All right? This basic value emerges, and he just wants to go home. And we're going to get to that scene. But before that, I want to take a look with you and get a sense of how the win-lose metrics plays and it's not villainous, right? It's not, there's no devil. It's much more subtle. So let's take a look. So I'm going to introduce you now.